we have all eyes on the polls this morning as Super Tuesday gets underway. Polls opened at 6.30 this morning, over two hours ago, and they will stay open until 7.30. If you're in line before then, you can cast your ballot. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger is live outside of Sharon Elementary School. Sydney, how's it looking out there? It's been about two hours. Is it still kind of that steady, calm flow that we've been seeing? Julian, that is exactly what we are still seeing, seeing people walk in and seeing people walk out without having to wait too long, at least here at this precinct. Again, the elections office here in Mecklenburg County not reporting any major problems that would cause any delays or polls to have to stay open past 730 this evening. Something we are still keeping an eye on, though. But one thing I do want to talk about is something that is always on everybody's minds anytime there's an election, and that is, of course, how secure your ballot is. Well, I actually got a chance to talk to Mecklenburg County Elections Director Michael Dickerson. And they actually said that they were able to hire more staff members in Mecklenburg County this election due to the budget, which is in contrast to the state, who actually had to cut down several positions related to election security due to money. I spoke to Elections Director Michael Dickerson about the probability of cybersecurity concerns locally. Take a listen. Keep in mind, everything I use out of the precinct is not connected to an internet. It's not got Wi-Fi. It's not got any sort of accessibility to the information that we have there. So I'm very comfortable in the process that we do here. And uh, we've, uh, you know, we're very comfortable in the early voting process that we just finished and the absentee by mail. Now, once voting is complete today, all of those results that you enter into the machines will be put on a flash drive, then brought over to the elections office, then uploaded onto a computer and uploaded to the state for those results to be posted tonight. And so while election security may be on people's minds, voters are still heading to the polls, as you're seeing today, to cast their vote. Now, Queen City News anchor Will Lewis standing by at another precinct for us, telling us who exactly we can expect to see out here today. Will? And Sydney, good morning. You know, some of the people we spoke to say Super Tuesday for them may be more about the local and state races than it will be for the race to the White House. Now, some of those people that we spoke with say it looks that we could be heading towards a President Biden and former President Trump rematch, but they still want to make sure that their voice is heard. Also, the governor's race has a lot of people heading to the polls. According to the North Carolina State Board of Elections, more than six, 670,000 people cast their ballots in the early voting period. Now, a little over 52,000 of them were here in Mecklenburg County. Now, some people we spoke to in the Plaza Midwood area say for them in the voting in the primary is their only option. I think we're at a, a critical and existential moment uh, in our country and in our um, world, really. And I think the issues that will affect the next generation uh, being a father are, are too important to, to just sit on the sidelines. Because I do feel like we already know who's generally going to be in the big election. Um, but I think it's always worth the chance just to vote for what you believe in either way. And I can tell you here at this precinct in Plaza Midwood, it has been a steady number of voters going in. Now, when you look at that 670,000 number in the early voting period, the State Board of Elections says that was only 9% of the people eligible to vote during that time. We will be watching the numbers all day to see if that trend continues. We're live in Plaza Midwood. Will Lewis, Queen City News.